Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Amouage Beach Hut Woman. Now this fragrance is one of the recently released fragrances from Amouage, which was released in 2018. And of course they have a women's version and a men's version. For transparency purposes, I purchased this bottle. This was not sent to me to review. Now there's a lot of really interesting notes in this fragrance, and like most Amouage fragrances, the men's version is completely different than the women's version. So let's get into the notes of this fragrance, and I'm getting them from Lucky Scents. If you guys are wondering where I get my notes from, I'm going to try and let you guys know a reference where I'm picking up the notes. So the notes in this are bergamot, mineral moat, geranium, driftwood, lisling. I know I mispronounced that. It's I believe it's an accord of white florals, like a lot of different white florals. You have cashmere and broxen and patchouli. Now, you might think that this is supposed to be some aquatic fragrance, supposed to smell like a mermaid, be light, airy, salty, slightly sweet, and marine. It is not that whatsoever, and I actually really appreciate that about the scent. This fragrance actually opens up quite sharply, very strong in the patchouli, very strong in the ambroxan, and it's really salty and a little bit sour, just a little bit. There's a little tiny bit of sourness back there, kind of like seaweed. You guys ever smelled like fresh seaweed? Like it has that really distinctive, I grew up at the beach, so I know what it smells like. Like it has that very distinctive smell of seaweed. So it's salty, green, and a little bit sour. Just a little bit sour. But then you have the ambroxan, the white florals in there, and most definitely the patchouli. I think that this fragrance isn't for everybody. <laughs> Let's be honest. I love this scent. I think this is a very powerful, very contrasting, just very unique and different aquatic marine scent. When you think of aquatic marine scents, you might think more beach hut man and not so much as beach hut woman. But I would definitely say that there's something about this that is very reminiscent of the sea. Maybe kind of like a sunken treasure, chi uh, treasure ship or pirate ship filled with treasure. Uh, maybe kind of like a beach after a thunderstorm where like most of the ocean is on the um, is on the beach on the sand and it's just been sitting in the sun all day like you might not think these are whimsical romantic ways that you want to smell but there's something unique and special about this scent i also find this scent out of most of the homage women's scents this one tends to lean more unisex than the others and you guys know how i feel about fragrance all fragrance is genderless but i do find that this one smells more like a unisex fragrance than the other women's fragrances from homage this is definitely unique. This is definitely special. It is not for everybody, not for everybody. I can easily, and I mean easily see why somebody would not like this scent. There's something about it that's jarring. There's something about it that's sharp. There's something about it that's different and maybe not in a positive way. But all of those notes that come together, I find to be really fascinating, and I love smelling that way. So the fact that this is slightly sharp and jarring, a little bit sour, really salty, smells like driftwood and seaweed, and it's got like that ozonic mineral note in there. Just there's all different things in this fragrance that I really appreciate and love. And on the skin, this fragrance sings. So overall, I love this scent. I sampled them both. I want to get Beach Hut Man too because I think it's really beautiful. But I just fell in love with this little oddball right here. And it's a little oddball. But overall, it's a really beautiful scent. If you like these types of fragrances, uh, definitely worth sampling and trying if you've had your eye on this. Um, definitely check it out. But do not blind buy. Do not, under any circumstances. And this is not for everybody. So I would not recommend this for the office. <laughs> I would not re recommend this in a professional environment. I do think the scent is more of a daytime scent, but I do think maybe in the summer it could transition to evening as well. Fantastic longevity, about eight to 10 hours on my skin and moderate projection. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Amouage Beach Hut Woman. If you guys have any experience with this fragrance let me know in the comment section below i'd love to know what you guys think and always guys don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye